and this is the global forecast for April 2018. Let's get a couple of things out of the way first of all. Um, Neptune's in Pisces, merrily trucking along, it's approaching the middle of Pisces, it's not really doing a lot. There's a few things being done to it and I'll cover them in a minute, but Neptune's not a major role player. Neither is Jupiter, retrograde in Scorpio, not doing a great deal. And neither is Venus, which is going to spend almost the entire month in Taurus before it moves into Gemini around the 24th, 25th of the month. It's all to do with the cardinal signs, particularly Aries and Capricorn. There is a full moon in Scorpio on the 30th of April at nine degrees, but it's, it's healthy. It's trying Saturn. It's sextile Saturn, so that's nice enough. But the big news is what's going on up in Capricorn and the red in preparation for what's coming next month. Now we start the month with a Mercury retrograde and Mercury is going to stay retrograde until um, 17 minutes past 10 in the morning UK time on Sunday the 15th of April. And I've been telling a lot of my clients and friends that look, just don't change course. Don't make any major changes now until Monday the 16th when you can begin to sort of see how the land lays and from then on start taking action. But the real trigger for this coming month is definitely what Mars is doing. Mars starts the month now, as I speak, uh, just uh, it's, it's the full moon in Cancer, uh, full moon in um, Libra is just happening as I speak, um, at 10 degrees of Libra. It is opposite the Sun, square Saturn and square Mars. So now, today on the 31st of March, it's a bit of a crazy day out there. Don't know what's going on in the world, not a lot yet, but the effects of this full moon are going to be felt more and more as we get into the middle of March, at uh, middle of April, I'm sorry. Mars is conjunct Saturn. This becomes exact on Monday, a couple of days from now, 48 hours. So the first 48, 72 hours of this month is pretty damn weird. And if you're one of those people born at the very end of December or June, or for that matter, at the end of September or the end of March, then you're going to be feeling this big time. Mars conjunct Saturn, it is an anger management issue. There's a lot of stuff around... Um, assert, being assertive and projective without being confrontational and aggressive. Mars conjunct Saturn deals a lot with male energy. So whether this is father, teacher, God or employer, there's going to be a fair bit of antagonism and resentment shown towards people who are trying to order others into what they should be doing. And this is not a time, this is really not a time for other people to be telling other people what they should be doing. Mars conjunct Saturn on a Mercury retrograde in Aries, not good. As we get more into April, Mars mellows a little bit as it approaches mid Capricorn, sextiling Neptune in the second week of April. But this is a calm before the storm. As Mars, as we get towards the end of the second week of April and the beginning of the third week of April. So everything really ratchets up. On the 15th, 16th, Mercury stops going retrograde. It, there is uh, an Aries new moon, strongly conjunct Uranus, 26 to 28 degrees of Aries. So, and at the same time, Mars is rapidly approaching conjunction to Pluto. Mars conjunct Pluto, we talk about Mars Saturn being involved with anger management against male role model imagery. Mars conjunct Pluto is rage. It is raw unbridled, passionate rage. It can be extremely vicious and violent and very explosive. It can also, of course, be utilised in an extremely positive way. People with Mars-Pluto conjunctions often go on to become black belts or people who become uber effective and efficient at what they do. Sharp, focused, acute, concentrated. But also Mars-Pluto deals with raw, unbridled anger. So uh, around the new moon, we've got new moon conjunct Uranus. We've got the Mercury standing still, just stopping retrograde. We've got Mars conjunct Pluto. And all of this is, leads to such a ratcheting up of planetary energy in the third week of April. And this is going to be a rapid escalation of events in the world. And this is in readiness for what's coming in May. 
of which more later. But May is going to be the month that changes a lot of people's lives, probably for a very long time to come, if not forever. And it's going to have a major impact on the world as well. And I'll be doing quite a lot of videos from now on of the major role players in the, in the dramas that are going to be unfolding over the coming months. You can expect further developments politically, especially involving Russia. And the future of the World Cup is looking a little bit suspicious. In Britain, there's the royal wedding and possibly the funerals. I don't know. Something's coming up around this. And uh, there's, there's various other scandals about to break. In America, there's the ongoing drama stroke soap operas of the, British, of the American political situation. The world's heading into a really crazy phase. And as we, the more we get into April, the faster things are going to get until we get into the middle of May. By the end of May, we're going to be reaching a kind of temporary stasis point where things are going to slow down in their escalation. And resolution will be by September. I'm, I'm telling everybody that by mid-September, 95% of the challenges of this year are over. But let's get there because we're heading into critical times now. If the world were my client and all its people were one, and they were saying to me, well, what's April this year looking like? I'd be saying, well, for many people, it's a time of conserving energy and building up and rebooting themselves in preparation for what's to come. For quite a few others, it's an extremely active time where a lot of buttons can be pushed. So my message to the world in during April 2018 is clear. Act in a grown up, mature and responsible way. Don't let your buttons get pushed. And um, yeah, be assertive and projective but not confrontational and aggressive. Catch you a bit more regularly over the coming month. Bye now.